by style management has to match the person's personality. Everyone manages a little different. It just has to be genuine and it has to be from a place that cares about people and cares about the vision of the company and um, the way it's pushing through. The management style that I personally drive from the best is seeing passion. Um, Russell is a, a very passionate person and so when he gets motivated and talks about the long-term goals of Avis and the other uh, investment Russell gives into Avis um, and, and provides a place for us to work passionately and seeing the other projects that he gets involved in um, for business reasons and then just personal reasons um, helps me come back and realize how valuable our day at work is and how valuable our work becomes for our clients. Um, so that passion that he has kind of overflows into us and that for me it makes it really easy to work hard. I think once again it goes back to hiring the right people. Uh, so I, I, I don't like, we don't like a micromanager, we don't have time for it. And uh, so I, I mean for us I, I think it's very freeing but it also takes a specific interest. So some people can't thrive in that, some people need a specific checklist do these items and when this is done come to me and I will give you another six items they don't have and, and it's nothing maybe intentional they've just been groomed and in their professional life professional experience they've never had to think about the logical next steps and where to go and, and where the, the, the basically the project or the processes or whatever task you're on needs to organically grow to they just don't think about it uh, so for us it's we, we don't do that we have a more free individualized management style we don't like that. I don't want to micromanage anybody and we do not believe in that. I, I think that micromanagement is a disservice to an employee. I think that anyone that needs it shouldn't be here. Um, but I do believe that it is my job to be there to help in whatever way possible to make sure that my people do great. And so what that means is that I do not agree with the idea that a manager is a delegator and they can sit and just throw out work to different people. I think that to be a true manager and a, an effective manager, you have to be able to get in the trenches and you have to be willing to get in there and get your hands dirty just like everyone else. Um, to manage me, I think the best form of management is the one that's currently being used on me. Um, I, I'm given things that I need to do, but after I assign those tasks, there's no micromanaging. It's up to me to get them done, and there's no one constantly looking over my shoulder asking where I am on it. It's just constantly me doing my work that I need to get done. I don't have to worry about checking over to see if someone's looking at me or anything, or constantly give updates every five minutes, which would slow me down. So. So it's, it's awesome not having micromanaging. So we have one-on-ones, and it's roughly every week, and you talk with your manager, and it's 10, 15 minutes of each one of you talking, catching up on life, me telling you about the sweater that I made for my cat that's a Red Ranger outfit or whatever, you know what I mean? So the fact that it's just kind of like casual, laid back, but if I'm like, okay, so there's this thing I've been tackling for a while, and I want to implement this menu, but it won't work this way. And getting an outside perspective of someone that's not a programmer per se, and get kind of like a brainstorming session, I like that because typically managers are busy, busy, busy. And I know that Hunter is always slammed. He has 10 hats on at any given time, but he never seems to be super loaded, which is a skill I don't know that I possess. But he, at any given time, if I'm like, hey, I have a question, will stop what he's doing and come answer me. And I think that as far as management goes, it's very important.